this way forever. Byron Jackson. What's going on guys? It's Dillage here coming at you guys with another video here today. Today I'm going to be talking about the Totino's Invitational Call of Duty Tournament. It's a $50,000 Call of Duty Tournament. I'm sure you guys all know about it. Uh, it's going to be going on at the MLG Arena in Columbus, Ohio, right where I live. Um, so we'll be going there. I think I'm going to do a vlog while I'm there, or at least on the way there, you know, while I'm there a little bit, and then on the way back, kind of a little reflection afterwards. Uh, say what I think about what, what, how, how the tournament went. Um, so, this video is going to be a little bit about what I think is going to happen, what I'm kind of disappointed in, and what I have no idea about. Um, so, I don't really know the layout of the tournament. All I know is it starts at noon um, Eastern Time so you guys can figure that out for the rest of the United States I don't really know and wherever else you are but I know it starts at noon here or 1 doors open at noon I think that's what it is so it starts at 1 I don't know when I don't know uh, how they're laying it out I'm guessing it's single elimination um, just bracket play because it's only 8 hours and it's one day, so I mean, there's really nothing else they can do. But we have Elevate, Phase, Complexity, Envy, Luminosity, Optic, TK, and Rise Nation. I'll read you guys off each of the teams, um, say a little bit about what I think about them, and if, if I know anything about them, and kind of give what I think is going to happen. Um, just based off of pure guessing because we haven't seen really anything in this game yet. Uh, we've seen a little bit. Optic won the tournament. They had 4v4 tournament um, MLG hosted yesterday. I do you believe it was yesterday, Thursday, the 12th. Um, so let me go ahead and run down all these teams here. We have Elevate, Facento, Remy, Nagafin, and Aqua. Um... That team is a lot like the TR team that played really well together last year, so I'm expecting them to be, you know, probably like a top four is my guess. Um, then you got FaZe, Attach, Clayster, Enable, Zuma. That team, you know, in AW played really well towards the end. Actually, throughout AW, um, they were the only team that could really compete with Optic for most of the game. So I'm, I'm predicting them to be... Top two, top three is my guess. Complexity is the new complexity. Parasite, Nameless, Ricky, and Mir. Um, miracles. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not really expecting a whole lot of that team. Ricky is is definitely a dominant a dominant AR. Um, Parasite is Parasite. You know, he's he's gonna think he's the best in the game, and that's. That's a good thing, you know. Confidence is confidence is a uh, half the battle, but I do think they need a little more when it comes in the slaying category. So I'm gonna put them at at seven or eight. Envy, TP, Jcap, Slasher, and Aix. This team I think can either be good or be really bad. I don't know which one yet. Um, TP, you know, was was good in Black Ops 2. Jcap is a is a dominant AR. Slasher went off in AW. I don't know how he's gonna be in Black Ops 3. I'm guessing still good. I I don't know. My guess is or your guess is as good as mine. I, I'm not really sure. Aches. Everybody knows Aches. Everybody knows what he can do. Um, he's a leader. That's that's what he does. So as far as prediction. I'm gonna put them at right, right in the middle, five, six area. Um, Luminosity. We got Spacely John replace Proofy. That team, Spacely, decent Slayer, good OBJ. John can kill pretty much anything. Proofy can kill everything when he's on. When he's not, you know, he can be bad. Uh, replays. Replays, so I'm gonna put them, you know, right around that five, six, seven mark as well. 
they don't have anything that really stands out to me, but they're, they're right there, you know, they're right at the, on the brink of being really good. Um, then we got Optic, Scumpy, Crim6, Formal, and Karma. Not much to say here other than they won nine championships last year. Um, you know, it, it's it's tough to not pick them to win. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like part of the green wall or anything. You know, I'm not I'm not a huge optic fan. I'm a yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of all of the people on that team. I enjoy watching all their videos and everything. And but you know, I, I I'm not gonna be like upset if they lose. I'm not gonna. So I'm not. I'm not gonna say that like even if they sucked, I would not pick them to win just because they're optic. Um, but it's hard to not pick them to win just because of the the people on that team and the the slaying capability and the way they play and they've been together for almost a year now. Well, six or eight months I think. And you know when you play together that long, you're gonna play a lot better than these teams that are just just getting together. That's why I think Phase and Optic have the best chance to be really good, along with PK, who I'm about to talk about. So I'm going to pick Optic 1-2. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pick them 1, really, but you know, in that, in that, anything can happen in the finals. FaZe showed that last year, so you never know. TK, we got the old TK team, like the Ghost TK team. Actually, it was before Ghost 2. Black Ops 2 into Ghost. Um, Neslo, Sharp, Theory, and Goon. This team... Mm. I don't know. I don't know. They're they're so up and down that it it could be anywhere. I'm gonna pick them anywhere from four to six, four five six, um, right in the middle there. I don't. There's a lot of teams that I think right now are in the middle. It's hard to really differentiate from teams because of it's a brand new game. Um, and then Rise, Slacked, Octane, Classic, and Looney. I think this team is one to be messed with. I think this team's gonna get top three. Um, <laughs> this team actually actually have been working on um, doing the doing some stats here, looking on COD stats, and and kind of getting like a like a baseline average from everybody's uh, performances last year in MLG MLG events. And this team basically just MLG events, by the way. So no no no, ESW, no ESWC, no UMG, any of that stuff. But um, this team. I'm telling you, has a chance to be good. Octane slayed his ass off at the end of the year last year. Um, Slacked can slay. Slacked has had a few really, really good events last year. Um, Looney, you know, everybody knows who. Everybody knows Looney. I mean, he's good. Um, Granted, this team doesn't have a whole lot of uh, lot of experience, so that that is tough. But honestly, I picked this team top three. So let me know what you guys think about this. I'm gonna put the list of the team names in the bot or in the uh, description of this video. Um, one thing that I saw a bunch of people bitching about this on Twitter actually. And one thing that I, I kind of agree with is the game just came out, as we all know. So it is it is kind of tough to play. Not not t it's not it's not a tough game to play, but I'm saying like it's it's going to be tough to for the pros to adjust to the the rules the rule set, and we don't even know if the rules are right yet. That's the thing. I mean, games change as the game goes on, and and AW was even changing towards the end there. And this game just came out, so I don't want to put low expectations on the tournament, but don't put high expectations on the tournament. Don't don't expect um, everything to go smoothly. Expect some expect some bugs. Expect some glitches. Expect some you know things you got to feel out, and that's that's what this tournament's for. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I should be posting another video here to, or today um, sometime. I don't know. should be, though. Uh, tomorrow, have that vlog, hopefully, at the tournament. 
Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. Please subscribe. And y'all have a good day. Oh.